and have a very honest conversation with yourself about what was getting in the way between your relationship with God in the first place. Was it your company? Was it the movies that you watched? Was it the music that you listened to? Hey guys, it's Cece here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to make a quick video talking about four ways that you can bring yourself closer to God. So first of all, recognize the importance of getting closer to God. What will you gain from it? What will you lose from this? You know, you'll gain peace of mind, clarity, hopefulness. You'll lose fear from things not working out. You'll experience more freedom. You'll experience nearness to God, seeking his pleasure, him being happy with you, his care, his comfort, and of course, his lifelong friendship with you. And there is no friend like God, so why not get closer to him? So the first thing that you can do to get closer to God is learn his names. So as we know that God has so many different attributes, 99 different names. I'll also link the information down below so you guys can have a look. But God is the most compassionate, the most merciful, the opener of ways, the forgiver the loving, the kind. There are just so many names attributed to God. And I think when you take a step back, reflect on each and every one of them, you'll be able to see how all of them are true and how they all have been applied in some way in your life. You'll be able to have seen God's compassion, his mercy, his kindness towards you, how he opens the way for you through any difficulty that you may have. Hopefully see him in a bigger way than what you know. And even from the information that we do have, God is way bigger than that. Unimaginable. So the first thing that you can do is have a look and read about who exactly God is. The second thing that you can do is read the word. Read the Quran, spend time with God's word. Spending your time in the remembrance of Allah not only will bring you peace, but it will help you have a sense of comfort that there is always somebody watching. Someone who is always with you through every hardship, every achievement, every success, every change in your life. The more you spend your time praying, reading his word, his name will hopefully be at the front and center of your mind every time things happen in your life. Not only does this help you stay on the straight path, but it also helps you think long term and it also helps you become a lot more God conscious. The third thing that you can do to get closer to God are good deeds. Do a lot of good deeds as much as you can. Donate to charity whenever you can. Look after someone whenever you can. Check in on somebody. Even smiling and being a friendly person is also classified as a good deed when you are sharing moments of happiness or you're helping someone else out during their time of need. God will be so pleased with that because you're helping his creation. God wants us to be good to each other. So the more we are kind and thoughtful of others, the happier God will be with us. God wants us to help each other. God wants us to be kind to one another. So by us doing that for others, we are listening to God's word and we are following his instruction. And the fourth thing that you can do to get closer to God is have gratitude. Spend some time, and this doesn't only help with uplifting your mood, but it just helps you put things in perspective. Showing thankfulness will not only give you even more blessings in your life, but when you acknowledge your blessings for what they are, that they are gifts from God through his kindness, through his mercy, we are able to realize that God is the giver and taker of all things. And if we were really to sit down and reflect on God's blessings, they are endless. From the little things we take for granted all the way to the big things, things that we never even thought we'd have in our lives. These are all gifts and signs from God. Just to finish off, you guys, one tip that I really want to give you is to take a step back, be reflective, and have a very honest conversation with yourself about what was getting in the way between your relationship with God in the first place. Was it your company? Was it the movies that you watched? Was it the music that you listened to? Because God is always there. It's us that take a bit of a step back. It's us that get distracted. The more you remind yourself that God does love you, that he's always there for you, you feel more inclined 
to get closer to him. We all have a fitra, which is your inclination towards God, your inclination towards good. And I read in a book that the fitra is the compass of the heart that directs one to God. So the fact that we have these moments where you might even be having these moments of thinking, I haven't been close to God for a while. What's wrong with me? What's happening? Why why am I not close to God? The fact that it's a concern, it shows the fitra. It shows that you have this inclination to get closer to God. You feel like something's missing. And now all we have to just do is act on it. The doors of forgiveness are always open. Allah's mercy, his kindness, his compassion is always there. The key thing that we can even do from this moment is have the presence of Allah in our hearts. Remember him, remember his names, and be willing to have a conversation with him. A lot of the times, and this is very common, people feel that their sins are pushing them further away from God and that they no longer have a right to ask for forgiveness or to even pray anymore. But one of God's names is the merciful. And he does say that he loves those that repent. And love, as you guys know, is a huge word. In fact, Allah says that he loves those that constantly repent. He loves those that forgive others and spend their money doing good things, doing charity, taking care of themselves, taking care of others. And lastly, if you think you've become too distant from God and you just, there's no way to get closer to him and you feel so hopeless, all it takes is one call, you guys. One call from the bottom of your heart to Allah and he'll be there and he'll respond. No matter how you call upon him, he will respond. He even says this in his holy scripture that tell the believers that I am near when they call upon me. I am near. And what a beautiful thing to say. He never, he doesn't say that, you know, you've done too much and now I'm no longer available to you. He says, call on me and I'm near. And I think that that is such a beautiful thing and I don't want any of us to overlook that. So if you ever do feel distant, just know that he's still there and he's very close and all it takes is one step from you. And you can do that in any moment. So yeah, I just wanted to share those little steps on how you can get closer to God. And there's someone that I think wants to say hi to you guys. So before we leave, everybody say hi to Teddy. So thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you found it useful in some way. And let me know what you guys think when you reflect on what honestly keeps you away from God. What makes you even question your closeness towards him? It's a very interesting conversation because I think the answer will be different from each person, but I have a feeling it's more to do with the things that we do, the sins that we commit that make us doubt our closeness to him. But with every relationship, you guys, there needs to be quality time. There needs to be an understanding you have to learn about God to understand his mercy, to understand his kindness. So make sure that you do that. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.